Okay, show and tell time. Mass airflow sensor. You've seen them. You know what they do. Air comes in, air comes out. You get an electrical signal, either an analog or a frequency out, and it tells your engine controller how much air is being ingested into your engine. The only problem with these is that, for the most part, the characteristic curve of flow versus voltage or flow versus frequency often is unknown. So, what we have here is a prototype of a flow bench for mass airflow sensors. Kind of simple in concept. What we have here is six vacuum cleaner motors hooked up into PVC pipe. You can see them. There's six of them here. There's actually three here and three on this side. All in suck modes that are actually sucking air through here and then it'll be split through six of those motors. You can call them six little motors, six little engines. Anyway, we have a pipe here. Flows this way to this device here which is called a laminar flow element. Real simple, what it does is it measures the pressure drop against this element. It's a, it's a calibrated element and with the pressure drop you can actually determine cubic feet per minute, or minute flow. So this one here is 169.13 CFM at 8 inches of water and it's a linear flow so if I can measure the water uh, drop across here, uh, inches of water equivalent, I can get CFM and with CFM and knowing the environment I can convert that to grams per second and with this whole rig here with, I can hook a mass airflow sensor up, look at this reading from here uh, look at the voltage or the frequency out of the mass airflow sensor and build up a calibration tape. All right. Comes along here, nice 90 degree elbow and you will notice there's a quite a long distance between before and after the laminar flow element because this needs basically direct flow of air as far as possible. So, elbow here to the device under test. This is a uh, set up where it's uh, two air intakes coming into one and there's a mass airflow sensor right here on the bottom and we're just looking at the characteristic flow so what we'll basically do is turn on the motors, the vacuum motors, pull air through and look at the frequency output on this frequency meter and with that we should be able to tell how much air is flowing through. Really simple in process and we can go back and look at this See, that's pretty much it for the rig. One thing I left out is to control the vacuum cleaner motors. Um, you can do this in many different ways, uh, like a, a triac uh, phase angle control. Uh, with this, we actually use a honking huge variac. It's actually a 240 volt variac that'll go up to 80 amps. And massive beast. Uh, but the vacuum cleaner motors, with all of them, it's push pull in about 60 amps when you have them all full bore so uh, you need a big beast to be able to control it so with this I can ramp them up and ramp them down any way I want so that's pretty much it we're gonna plug everything up in a few minutes and give it a flow so look at the next video